Hello guys, welcome back to some more God of War. In the last episode, Kratos took took on a giant dragon beast and absolutely slaughtered it. And this episode now, we're now going to head back inside the mountain. Now this giant dragon has been defeated, it's now time to head back inside the mountain. How far can I go inside the mouth though? Oh, not very far. That's a shame. Anyway, the boy's gone running inside the mountain, so we best catch up with him as quick. Oh, he's right here. Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres. And a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. All right, boy. Don't get too cocky. Disciplined. Not because we feel ourselves. Hold on. Sure. Ah, that did it. I knew I'd do something with that. In the last episode, we unlocked this arrow, which can destroy these like giant red tree kind of things. Tyre's revenge and like rune attack a powerful spinning attack against a single target with a follow-up attack that stabs the enemy into the ground. Nice. Do it that. Maybe I'll equip that later. Right, come on, boy. Let's head on up. So we managed to take on a dragon beast in the last episode. I mean, I can get why Atreus is starting to feel a bit cocky at this point. Just remember, Atreus, your father did most of the work. Ah, oh, we got these things. I don't think so. Oh, got him. I thought that that heavy attack was not going to connect, but it did. These little flying these little fly, flying freaks I really do remind me of Mike Muskowski from Monster Inc. The reason for that is because they got one eye and they're green. Although the only difference is Mike, these things can fly, unlike Mike Muskowski. I need to... Uh, I think I see what I need to do here. Oh, it's stuck. Uh, ah, hang on. What did the boy just say? Okay, so I need to find a way. Hmm. Okay, so... There we go. Want me to shatter it? Yes, please. Ah, that's what we do. Okay. I should have thought that beforehand. Okay, I'll put it about here. Now shoot it again, boy. There we are. Oh no, these things. I think you guys can probably see why these things would do remind me of Mike Muskowski from Monsters Inc. a little bit. I might just let Atreus take this thing out. There we are. I really need to get into engage into combat more. Okay, I found a bottom up, found three cups. Cool. I need to do that attack more often. That attack does a lot of damage. Okay, so where is this gonna take us? So press the up on the switch arrow types. Ah. Yes, I think this is something I need to remember. Wait, what? Oh, these things. We have these little things to deal with. Finish him off. When the heavy attack connects, it does do a serious amount of damage, and that's why I love it. Oh, at least I can use my shield to attack to some degree. Oh, did I not call the axe back? No, I didn't. There we are. Right, let's get another heavy attack now. He's on the floor. Oh, hold on. Oh, he's one of those enemies, isn't he? I cannot use the axe on this guy, which is really annoying. But I'll finish this one off. Okay, I lost a bit more health than I should have done with that. Oh, it's just health down. It's just health here. Okay, let's head on up. Ah. This looks promising. Oh no. Sign tells me he's probably going to be enemies I can only punch as well. At least I can use my axe though. So this guy looks like he's quite tough so I'm just going to pound the shit out of him with a rage attack. Booyah! That could take away a lot of Kratos' rage when you do a heavy attack like that. Come here. 
Oh, is that it? You didn't finish him off. Nice to see Atreus getting in on the action. There we are. I really need Atreus to get into the action more often. If I press the triangle square bomber often, he will become... It will really help me out a lot. Sometimes I just keep forgetting to press a triangle button in combat. Oh, what's this? Oh, we've got another one of these things. Look here, another. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. Hmm. Okay. I never really understand those things, to be honest with you. Oh, we got one of these. Ah, so. I think there's a chest round here, isn't there? Yes, one right there. So if I find two more of them, I should be able to find out what's in that chest. Looks quite promising as well. Hopefully something good's in that chest. I, will never get tired of things with this. I know, neither will I. Imagine if I had a bow that did this, that would be so cool. It'd be fucking dangerous, but knowing me, if I had one of these, but yeah. Wouldn't hurt to have one of these in my life. Wait, is this guy's health keeps regenerating? Oh, not anymore. This guy was inside him. I had no idea these little things could do stuff like this. From behind! Bit late, Atreus. I need to get yes, I need to get rid of that guy inside him. Boom! Kratos stomping on those guys' heads is just brutal. I see him gone, and I need to get inside there. Okay. Oh, bingo, this one. I thought I saw that. Okay. If I pick up another one of these, we can then shatter more of this stuff. Atreus, I've got a job for you. Knowing a trail will never get bored of this. Yeah, it's very promising. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Jesus, a trace is pushing a father out of the way. Another marker. Lord added new law marker found. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head up here. Although, while I head up here, though, I need to freeze the bridge in place. This lifting axe is so handy. I love it. Whether I prefer this weapon over the Blades of Chaos is a big shout. In all honesty. I know, both weapons are very good. Surprise, but I can't motherfucker! Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I did not think he would come out. I was not expecting this guy to come out of that chest. Was he waiting? How long was he in that chest for? I don't think I can use my axe. Oh, I can use my axe. All three seals destroyed. Nice. Catch the three seals destroyed. Let's see what's inside here. Okay, is there anything inside the chest? Or did he have everything? Yes, he had everything. Oh, I can just jump straight down. Good. Okay, let's see what's inside here. Please be something good. I'm done, Apple Letter. You have collected three of three little apples. You need to increase your maximum health. That means I'll get more health. You have collected three apples. Maximum health increased. Yes. Per oh, look at that. That is incredible. Cool. It's fucking worth doing that. Let me tell you. Follow me, Follow me boy. This doesn't look very stable to me. Just the creaking sounds when Kratos is climbing this thing. No, like Kratos, I'd imagine, is a very heavy man. Area discovered. The summit. Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop.
broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. That Kratos is what I call being a good father. To be honest with you though, I would never have the balls to say that to his face. <laughs> I'd certainly regret it if I said that to Kratos' face. It's so handy that I've got much more ra well, much more health now. I wonder if I can upgrade my rage at some point in this game as well. I don't see why not. Well, I'll finish these things off. Come on. Oh, I was going to do a heavy attack to finish off, but my rage ran out. Yeah, that's him gone. Very. Oh, I just kicked him off. Very nice. Just for a second, one funny. I just want to point out, I love the snow effects in this game. Which I'll show you guys in just a minute. I think you can see on the screen, but just watch. When Kratos moves around, or anyone moves around in the snow, just look at look at the snow detail. I mean, wow, look at it. Assassin's Creed Valhalla as well, if I remember correctly, did have similar snow effect like this, and. Oh, it's so cool. It's so satisfying. Just look at it. It's just like how you'd walk in snow in real life. I love small attention to details like that. Okay, so I'll have to climb up that way. I just want to see what's around here quick. See if I'm missing anything. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I don't know how I'm going to get open that. Hmm. Guess we'll have to come back for this later. That's if we do come back this way. Right, let's climb one up. We can hear someone at the top. Yes, be silent. Okay. Yeah, we don't know who these people are. We best be quiet. The same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. He was not company this time. Must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions. Take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and... <laughs> no one's looking. We'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? I was going to keep quiet during that, but sorry, I just had to laugh then. <laughs> he calls them worthless wankers and tells them to piss off. I like this guy already. And I've not even met him yet. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man travelling with a child. We took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just give him time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim. Realm of the Giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look.
This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body through these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old oh, magic? There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This. This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. The boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. Complete inside the mountain. Yes, Atreus, we are, but it's not going to be an easy journey. I'm going to see what this is quick while we're here. Round fire. Found three of the four ciphers. Ah, I hope I can find the last one. I think that might actually be the way to go down there. So it looks like I can't go through. No, I can't go through it. I thought Kratos was literally just going to fall off for a second. He was going to die. But I don't think Kratos. Luckily, Kratos can't do that. How quickly I was running off. He was going to run straight. He was going to run straight off. Okay, so I think we've already got a new ally now. Mimi. He's a nice guy. I like him. He may annoy Kratos from time to time. But yeah, he just likes to speak his mind. We've beheaded him. And now we need to go back to the Witcher Woods now to bring him back to life. He could be a real handy ally on our journey. It's not very often Kratos makes friends, is it? Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thank you for updating all the God of War episodes uploaded to my channel. And in the next episode, we'll head back to the Witch of the Woods and hopefully re-resurrect Mimir. Hope to see you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching. This is GoldieX, and I'm out.